Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're doing surprises coming your way in the next three months. This is a very exciting reading. I'm sure amazing things are going to pop up for you. Let's what, let's see. I felt called to doing this reading. A lot of people have asked you asked for it and I felt it was time energetically to do it really felt the energy of it and I'm very happy to be to be doing this reading for you today okay so we're gonna pick four piles together and this time I'm going to keep them closed and reveal them during your reading so this is pile number one obviously this is pile number two This is pile number three and this is pile number four. Now take a look at which of these piles you're the most drawn to, which number you're the most drawn to out of the four and that's probably the pile for you here today. Uh, if you feel drawn to more than one pile or if you feel drawn to all of the piles make sure you trust your intuition it'll always guide you to the right readings uh, you'll as usual you'll find the timestamps down in the description box click on your times and i'll see you in your readings hi pile number one so let's see what surprises are coming your way in the next three months uh, you have ooh, understanding it looks like you're going to be free from something uh, but again let's put all your cards together and see a coherent message of exactly what surprises are coming your way in the next three months I'm very excited for you <laughs> pile number one it seems like it's something you've been wanting for a long time uh, feels it feels like you may have given up on it you thought that you were gonna be stuck perhaps and things are opening up for you completely pile number one this is the page of cups here we'll find out in a second wow the eight of wands talk about the eight of wands doing so many things together but they all benefit you in one area of your life greatly diversifying perhaps your work or your energy we'll find out Ooh, king of pentacles pile number one i'm starting to really feel here with the eight of wands and the king of Pent pentacles that the surprise is coming your way is that you're going to be doing something that's going to help you be financially free financial liberty due to different sources or different streams of incomes that are really going to keep you afloat feeling happy uh, and going to create a lot of financial rewards for you in fact so it seems like in the next coming period pile number one you will be working on a lot of side hustles perhaps or maybe the same business uh, but creating different revenue sources or that you will decide to start working on your financial liberty along with your work and do some side hustle that will bring you a lot of financial rewards pile number three it will you will really start reaping a lot of financial amounts that you haven't received before much bigger than what you're used to pile number one so that's re really great news for you here whoa you have the page of wands a new beginning a new passionate beginning for you where you're looking out on smart ways that you can invest in financially or new smart uh, platforms new smart um, side hustles detecting on where you can create income where can you benefit people in order to create a financial reward for yourself and help others at the same time 
interesting. So you'll be um, inspecting all the different revenue streams, all the different markets, all the different ways in which you can create that side hustle that you want. Pile number one. How interesting. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Unbelievable. It's all about finances here. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a second. But I also want to pull out for you uh, the last card here at the moment the magician whoa so this is very clear here pile number one so this is a new financial beginning for you it looks like you are a bit worried if you are uh, this message for you here says that you, there's nothing for you to worry about it's all it's all going to grow from here you'll be really uh, surprised by the amount of rewards this side hustle is going to create for you or this new financial beginning that you're thinking about is going to create for you there's a lot of work here with the eight of wands but I see here smart work especially with you pile number one I think you'll be you have your eye on something perhaps you know you want to do something and that it it will really work out for you it's a very creative new idea you're going to present something differently you're very afraid that you might not it might not work or you might be afraid of putting yourself out there perhaps or you might be afraid of investing a little bit in the beginning but your spirit guides are really saying here don't worry go for it carefully of course but it looks like you're already careful there in the first place pound number one um and you're being advised to go through with whatever you have your eye on here um, that you are very skilled and you will be able to do it the surprise here is that you'll be greatly surprised to see that it has worked out beautifully for you unbelievable you'll really there's a lot of flying here in your cards pile number one I do not feel like it has to do with traveling, to be quite frank. But I do feel a lot of freedom, a lot of sense of freedom here uh, in your reading. I feel like very quickly you'll find yourself out there flying, uh, creating a lot of financial abundance for yourself that is keeping you free. Money will almost feel like it's coming out of the blue, although you know you've created this these streams for yourself and you've worked hard here it seems like you're in the very beginning of this here just an idea perhaps with the ace of pentacles or just starting out or will be just starting out but it will reap great rewards for you pile number one in fact with the page of wands here i do see you being adventurous being open to new ideas open to being inspired um, and open to creating your own trail or your own path here that soon you're going to be very proud of because we're starting off with the page of wands here and going on to the king of pentacles showing that you're going to be starting off by creating this new idea for you that you're enjoying perhaps thinking hey this could be a new nice beginning for me just to keep afloat but ending up being financially free perhaps owning your own business, creating a service that is solid and uh, wonderful for your clients that they really benefit from, and moving yourself from feeling stuck to feeling very free, pile number one. You have the magician here showing that you have a lot of creative power in general, and especially these days, pile number one. Um, there is potent energy, you have talent, you have skills that can manifest a lot of things for you, especially that the magician, uh, the magician card always has the four elements, the wand, uh, which is fire and passion, the sw swan, of course, with the water element, which is love, and, um, and you have your emotions towards it, you really care towards this new beginning that you're creating. You have the earth element, of course, with the plants, showing that you're going to create abundance with it. And you have the butterfly element here, uh, showing air, a lot of creativity and intelligence, being up for it. And with these 
elements here you're going to create something that will reap a lot of financial benefits for you something that will speak to your soul pile number one something that you will enjoy doing and uh, this is why very soon not only will you be going after it but you'll find yourself in a new free world it's always it's almost going to feel magical <laughs> but not believing that you are in this free world receiving your own money making your own uh, product or service that people are absolutely going to love you're going to be creative with what you're going to be presenting and creative of how to improve your income streams um, and at some point you're going to smile at yourself for being afraid to make this new beginning because you'll find yourself very capable of doing it uh, you'll find yourself actually a great entrepreneur um, a person who's capable of doing something themselves pile number one so kudos to you there all the best of luck I'm noticing now it's 11 11 and that's a strong confirmation here of what we're talking about now I think it's time for me to pull out two more cards for you check out um, more energy towards the exciting things that are happening to you the next three months I'm, I'm so excited for you <laughs> pile number three please start this wow save the best for last my friend you have the lovers card here we'll get to know what this is about in a moment you don't want to jump into conclusions and you have the emperor Look, pile number one, this is the second time you're getting lovebirds here. So it is clear here that another surprise coming up for you, popping up out of the blue here, is a new person coming into your life, pile number one. New love happening uh, after perhaps you've been standing alone for a while. Not, not that there's anything wrong with being alone at all, but it seems like you were wishing to find a special person. And it looks like part of your surprises here is you along the way finding that special person, butterflies, getting butterflies um, with a new person, pile number one. That's really excited. I'm very happy for you here. So overall, with this emperor, this really ties in your reading. It seems like you're getting into a, fa a new phase of your life after feeling a little bit stuck. It seems like you're coming out free, feeling in control of your life, taking command of your life, feeling like you're capable of achieving so much for yourself, even in the department of love here. There's freedom to love. This is a new big change that is really going to feel magical because there's the opposite energies here stuck to completely free opening up the energy is opening up for you and as you can see here that's what's depicted in the magician card here for you everything going poop uh in terms of the element of earth getting a lot of financial rewards with the wands the new type of work and passion that you're going to be creating and even with the swan here right next to the butterflies again it seems that there's renewal in love a spark a new spark that you're going to enjoy so pile number three look forward to that shift and change in energy here for you because it seems like you're going into a new energetic world experiencing the beginning of completely new experiences for you that's why it's going to feel like an adventure for you pile number uh one that's so exciting for you i'm also noticing that the magician card even the magician card is up in the sky which is a different way to to depict the magician energy here so for you pile number one do you see a lot of being in the sky a lot of freedom in so many areas of your life feeling on top of the world is for sure the type of energy coming in for you pile number one
So pile number one, that was your reading. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. So we're taking a look at what surprises are coming your way in the next three months. Uh, I'm very excited to find out. Wow, you have the creator here. How interesting. All right. I love this energy for you. Let's take a look at what your tarot cards have to say and have an overall coherent reading for you. Pile number two. So what is happening for pile number two, please? Sorry about the noise. What surprises are coming their way in the next three months, please? Oh, that also wants to come out. Wow, you have the Ten of Cups. That's right next to your King of Wands here, the Creator. You have, oh, the King of Swords. Okay, very interesting. Let's leave a space here for two more cards later. You have the world. Oh, wow. You have the moon. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. These are very strong energies here, as you can see, pile number one. Uh, I mean, the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the World, the Moon, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Very strong uh, energies in your reading, pile number two. Pile number two, it seems like a lot of you have um, a plan in mind. You have a lot of creation energy, alchemy, a lot of creation energy is exactly what I want to say, just like I said, uh, uh, with you at hand, at the moment. And it seems like you're putting up a plan in your mind. Perhaps you're writing it down, but you have a plan that you're putting together because you have this passionate idea that you're working on. You're aware that this idea may have some risks that could uh, perhaps take your idea off guard, veer you off course, but you're making sure, pile number two, to plan very well from now towards this idea that you dearly, dearly love. My good news for you is whatever plan you have in mind now, is really going to work out amazing for you. In fact, it looks like it's going to harbor a lot of fame for you, a lot of recognition. It won't blow up all of a sudden, but you will see it growing rapidly uh, over time. And you're really going to enjoy this process at pile number two. So that's some great, great news for you here. I'm very excited for you. If you picked one and two, there's similar news here. I mean, I'm mind blown by the, the same type of energies, the same type of cards coming up in your readings. Because pile number two, it looks like to me that soon you might also be in a relationship, a very fulfilling relationship, that is going to start off very slow for you in the beginning. Perhaps you may be meeting someone that is interested in you and i think you're going to be of course very much interested in in them as well and you're going to start off as friends for a while taking things slow getting to know each other learning more about each other and i think straight away in your hearts both of you are going to know that this is it but you're going to be taking things slow and i think this assurance of you knowing that this is it will allow both of you to actually enjoy um, the process and experiencing each other uh, and this is why also you will have a lot of gentle adventures together nothing crazy nothing out of the blue 
but you'll have more experiences together than the usual relationships that you both were in. Perhaps you'll have a lot of soft, nice picnics together, and nice walks in the park, um, gentle conversations on the phone, meeting up and talking about deep things, hanging around per perhaps in the living room and talking about your ideas about life and the things that you enjoy and then generally getting to know each other on a deeper much deeper level so that's very very some very sweet energy here coming up for you pile number two i see you going strong pile number two not being hindered by the obstacles coming your way i see a lot of passion here making sure and being adamant about doing this project passionate project or beginning that you have in mind and i see you crossing over one obstacle after the other until you've created it and put it together just the way you had it in your mind pile number one uh, you will be seeing success straight away, maybe not booming straight away, but you will be enjoying the fact that everything that you do will reap success and benefits as you grow little by little, pile number one. So all the best of luck here. I love your cards, pile number two, and I'm happy for you. You will have this loyal companion with you, that's depicted as your new lover here. So that's really good news. I think this person will be supporting you a lot uh, emotionally and rooting for you, believing in you, believing that you can create great things, will be helping you out when necessary, when you allow them to. And uh, you will be enjoying working on your new project here and meeting up with the special person during this beautiful summertime, pile number three, pile number two. So excited for you here. And I think now it's time for us to pull out more tarot cards and see what other surprises are happening for you. So I see for you, pile number two, that you've reached the end of a major life cycle and you're now entering into a new one, uh, which is very exciting. Um, that's why you're starting to experience some different energy all together taking in the experiences that you've learned from the past making sure you harbor it and use it with your creative energy to create something big in your life you have the five of cups here i love the depiction of the five of cups here and you have the page of pentacles it looks like Pile number two that you have lost a, a lot of things in the past but your spirit guides are telling you to drop it let it go you're renewing beautiful energy it's time that you're now moving on from all the things that you were worried about all the things that you felt like you've lost and with your own hands here there's this wands there's this wand in the five of cups showing that you have the capability of creating a completely different world for yourself in the next coming three months, pile number one. And in fact, you have the page of pentacles here, meaning that right now you're going to start and embarking on this new journey by planning well for it, by putting together um, all the elements that you need in order to create this new beginning for yourself. There is a, a new beginning in both the department of love and the department of your personal business or your work, pile number two. Forget the old, start anew now. This is a fresh new energy and continue to do what you're doing. Continue to brim ideas because you see here with the king of swords, a beautiful, it's depicted as a female here, whether you're a male or a female suing a plan together and at the tip of the needle there's a star creating her own wish making it come true for her or, or himself pile number one so continue to do that continue because you kind of have a feeling of what type of obstacles 
are going to stand in your way from now so great job i think you're planning well for it you're aware of it you're very intuitive and you know what to take care of continue to go through this planning process and work little by little because whatever it is that you're brimming here will reap humongous benefits for you right from the very beginning like we discussed where you'll be carrying your successes with you and soon it's going to little by little grow with exponentially uh, and i see you being surprised as it grows pile number two what I like about you here, pile number one, is whatever sewing that you're doing, whatever planning that you're doing, it comes from a smart, educated plan, uh, place. You're making educated choices. You're not going haphazardly saying, oh, I'm going to do this. Let me take out the knife. Or why don't I try this or that? I think you're making some great educated uh, choices and plans perhaps checking out what the market wants perhaps checking out what you can do and along with that you are using the resources that you have do you see how here this beautiful knight of pentacles seems to have used things that are around her in nature she used the plants to create her horse uh, she also used the flowers around her to create her beautiful dress dressed up almost like a magician here with the magician hat so i feel like pile number two you'll be greatly dependent on your skills and on your resources what you have now and creating something amazing out of what you have now so kudos to you pile number two great job i'm sorry about the noise outside even though you're starting off small you are backed up with great tools uh, tools that you know will work out absolutely well for you you're backed by great skills as well that you've learned over the years and you're confident that it's going to take you out of where you are now into something amazing that you are very passionate about and that you really dream of pile number two so all the best of luck there the creator here or the king of wands right above the moon here shows me that you intuitively already know what needs to get done you know what you're going to do and it is going to work out great for you in the next three months pile number two i see you working solo here all over the place i feel like you uh, only trust yourself you know you can you can do a great job you trust your mental capabilities your skills and you actually want to enjoy doing this on your own being perhaps your or your own entrepreneur here um, standing on the resources and the skills that you have at the moment I see you this month changing energetic attire uh, towards the end of this month uh, end of August I see you but this is a timeless reading whenever you're listening to this I see throughout the month you going from the planning phase into actually stepping into this dream that you have and changing at attire into action taking action starting to see things happening starting you starting to see manifest in the physical world after all this planning and enjoying the process as you're going through it so my advice for you here is to at some point stop yourself from dragging too much into the planning phase while it's very important now at some point you might feel like you're enjoying this phase and you might prolong so do notice that you at some point during this month you need to start taking action perhaps start start physically doing something about it if it has to do with social media then start creating the page if it's a fashion design business for example seeing all the dresses here then start perhaps looking out into different ateliers or different shops or a, uh, an online store whatever it is that you need to do start taking action this month 
don't wait for it to drag in the next coming three months um, because I slow see slow energy here which is okay but don't let it slow you down pile number two don't let obstacles slow you down so all the best of luck pile number two so that was your reading I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. So we're taking a look at the surprises coming your way in the next three months. I'm excited for you. I wonder what your initial card is going to reveal. And you have silence, 17, that's the star card. So pile number three, it seems like there's a deep-rooted wish that you have, something that you've been wishing for dearly for a very long time that is about to come true for you. Let's take a look together at what this wish, wish is. Okay, let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what this wish probably is for you. What are you silently praying for? How number three that is about to come true for you do you feel it coming pile number three do you know it's coming that's what i feel here for you you have the page of swords interesting i love this page of swords here see wishing upon a star wishing on a dandelion here making the wish come true so it's definitely about a wish coming true for you pile number three Ooh, you have the seven of wands getting yourself unstuck out of something persevering and fighting to get over something push through until you create whatever it is you're wishing for let's take this one out also this one wants to come out that's it you have the five of cups again interesting so you have the five of cups the Five of Cups under the Seven of, Wards, uh, of uh, Wands deciding to move ahead and not keep yourself stuck in, in this situation anymore. You have the Chariot, but did you notice how the Chariot is quite slow in this one? Although the Chariot energy in, in general is all about fast movement. And so perhaps things have been very slow for you and they are going to quickly come out during these three months, but not all of a sudden is the energy that I see here for you. you have to take out the noise, you have the Empress. Ooh, I love that for you. Looks like you're going to take charge of your life. And do you see how the Empress is depicted here, pile number three? You see her holding a crown on her... Uh, about to be born baby and so you're silently you silently are wishing for something that you know you're going to manifest very soon pile number three it's going to go slow but it's about to happen and you know it pile number three you've perhaps been stuck in a certain situation for a while maybe you've been stuck with certain people that you don't like or you've been stuck in a certain job that you don't like or in general stuck with a certain energy that you did not like you've been trying for a very long time to manifest a new movement towards something that you want you absolutely know it's going to happen you're it's like the quiet before the storm for you and it is about to happen actually, pile number three. There is movement towards leaving the old and going towards the new, slowly but surely, pile number three. Along with that, pile number three, I see that you, you're needing to finish certain tasks that have been overwhelming you haven't really been tackling them and they've been growing over time and 
it looks like you're going to finally take in the plunge of tackling these tasks one by one, making sure that you finish it, which will also make you feel free. Uh, it seems like these tasks were energetically keeping you stuck. There are things that you need to take care of and finish. Perhaps some studies, perhaps some work. And you haven't been getting into it for a while, but it seems like you will be in the next three months tackling and finishing these tasks which are also going to energetically free you and help you to move towards something that you absolutely love pile number three maybe you'll have more time to work on the things that you love that you want to achieve to move along the dream that you want to achieve here this thing that you're manifesting I see you're going to be receiving a privilege pretty soon because I'm, I remember suddenly how the chariot card uh, in tarot in general was created because it shows that with the chariot not everyone in the past was privileged enough to have a chariot with horses it was only for the wealthy and the fortunate people the affluent people and it was a privilege to have the chariot it helps it used to help you out during the wars because it was something that was kind of a new invention at the time that not everyone had because while everyone else was on horses the people who had chariot they had a team or a person focusing on the road and on the navigation and another one focused solely on the on the fight and so it was a great privilege to have pile number three. And so it seems like you're going to be assisted along the way with some privileges. Maybe you'll get to know someone who can help you out in this endeavor or in this wish that you have. You might be lucky one way or the other. Uh, and this luck and privilege will, privilege will help you manifest and whatever it is that you want to come out in fact you have the empress here something being born something being manifested true magic happening because the baby if you think about it it's magic magic happening it's magic how it comes and it's magic how you re we receive it and with the empress energy here right next to the chariot it seems like a lot of magical things a lot of privileges are going to be happening to you soon helping you manifest this that you truly dream of at the core of your heart come true very soon for you but along the way pile number three do not forget that you too need to work on some things you need to liberate and free yourself from things that you haven't done so why don't you slowly and calmly take a leap in yourself and start pulling out the energy from within to finally tackle what it is that you want to do. Do you need to finish reading something? Do you need to be more productive here? And pile number three, if you want to have some help being productive, as you know, I've said it several times, I have a productivity book. Um, if you are interested in purchasing it, it's short, straight to the point, has key advices to help you do that all while enjoying it. If you're interested, uh, please email me down in the description box. You'll find my email. Okay, so pile number three, as we were saying, slowly but surely liberate yourself from what it is that you need to finish here because you will realize here with the Page of Swords that it might have looked pretty tough and overwhelming, but if you start tackling it and taking little steps, you'll find that it's finishing easily and effortlessly much easier than what you thought, almost like blowing into a dandelion and having things spread and finish. So take that step, pile number three, try it out. Take a little step every day. You don't need to finish everything all at once and feel the burn of it. Why don't you do one little thing today and tomorrow another little thing? You'll be surprised that little things like actually taking a decision to start it today, sitting on your desk and opening up your book or your computer is an amazing achievement all on its own 
that you should not take lightly at all so start that pound number three don't say i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it next week stop that energy is the advice that i'm seeing here for you liberate yourself from the the i'll do it tomorrow energy and start taking steps today even if it's as small as opening up and writing a few lines for example pile number three just start it today and you'll see that some sometime soon you'll be in the flow just like the moving snail here slowly but surely and if you notice the snail might look like it's uh, going slowly but it actually glides meaning there's no resistance so start it out take out this resistance of thinking that you should tackle it all today and glide into it finish it slowly but surely without much agony uh, towards it pile number three in the empress dress here pile number three something is holding my attention you see that she's wearing a dress that is full of flowers that are blossoming showing that she's ready to start living her dream and you also see some pollens here again the idea of pollination but this time it's inside her rose dress meaning pile number three that you should know you will be receiving a lot of privileges yes it's going to really assist you in so many ways but it also means that in your hands are things that you should be doing do you see how they're holding in their own hands there are certain things that you know you should be doing yourself and so with the combination of things happening for you and you taking action to doing things will make this come true for you so let's take an example if we're talking about you wishing for a new relationships for, for relationship for example yes you will be getting privileges from the universe perhaps meeting new crowds within them the person that you that would work perfectly for you pile number three but also within your hand with the pollination here you need to make this happen by going out doing the things that you might dread a little bit meeting new people getting into different communities and mingling with other people so that you get the chance to meet other people through this mingling you will be able to find that true person uh, the person that you are looking for in a relationship and that's how you're going to be greatly assistant assisted but at the same time you have to be doing something with on your own to make that happen pile number three so hey pile number three why don't you start tonight by writing down your plans take it slowly but making sure that tomorrow you actually start that little task that you put for yourself and this way you'll get into the chariot energy of movement and movement creates more energetic movement and will help push you really far ahead soon at pile number three because it seems whatever you're doing or want to do you'll be greatly supported and you will reach that dream that you have for yourself pile number three take your time as you can see there's no rush here with the chariot just keep on moving is your mantra keep moving and it's now 4334 uh, you were meant to see that because i noticed it and it's obviously the time for you because that's 8 8 that reminds me of the um the lion's gate coming up so make use of that pound number three start moving towards what you need to do because as you move the universe will make things happen for you pile number three so all the best of luck and if you've enjoyed this reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload don't forget to click on your notification bell and i'll catch you in the next reading bye pile number four your pile started at 44 14 your pile number four it seems like 
your reading is absolutely divinely guided. Before we take a look at your card and reveal the surprise coming your way, this exciting surprise coming your way in the next three months, I've heard food, desserts, celebration, festivities, clicking toasts, and you might be thinking, White Feather Tarot, are you hungry? <laughs> no, I'm not hungry. <laughs> we'll find out more about that in the cards as soon as we reveal what you have. And you have healing. I promise you what I heard <laughs> makes sense. We'll find out about it in a second. Pile number four. All right, so now let's take a look at what surprises are coming your way pile number four in the next three months what surprises are coming towards pile number four please in the next three months again four is the number as well of celebration by the way the four of wands we have the seven of pentacles Ah, we have the Nine of Wands, we have <clears throat> the Eight of Wands, right under the Seven of Pentacles, interesting, okay, 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 now that's starting to make sense. You have, wow, the Five of Pentacles. Do you see how this is depicted here? It's like a rose and stuck, of, stuck inside of her body or her dress there. A dying rose. That is still alive if you feed it. Interesting, really interesting depiction of the Five of Pentacles here. And it's right under healing. And pile number four, you have the page of swords. Okay, so now I have a very good idea of what's going on, starting from your divine number in this reading to the festivities we've been talking about to your tarot cards. So pile number four, it seems like the biggest surprise coming your way, what's exciting that's coming your way, pile number four, is that you'll be healing something with regards to your health issues. You could be perhaps trying to lose or gain weight in order to get this uh, perhaps ideal body that, you, body that you're looking for, or that you wanted to cure some physical health issues and it seems like with proper nutrition, maybe by following a nutritionist advice, uh, either the one that you meet or a, a certain healthy diet that you're doing, you will be powerfully uh, taking leaps in, in terms of your health, pile number four. It seems like you will be healing a lot of things, taking a look at the root cause of the issue here and nipping it in the butt, making sure that you eat the right food, that takes care of your body here and you're going to move out of this energy of perhaps feeling a little bit stuck sorry the branches here in her hair show that show I don't want to say dying energy that's not what I'm saying at all I'm saying energy that lacks the proper nutrition for it to grow healthily um, and I see you educating yourself with the page of swords here gaining more knowledge on what to do right and learning how to cook nutritious meals, learning how to take care of your self body, your hair, your skin, your nails, and your health in general. I do see a great improvement happening for you in the next three months, especially with the beautiful Eight of Wands here suggesting that you'll be doing one thing, which is eating right, and you'll see the consequences of it in all the other areas uh, when it comes to your health pile number four seven the seven of pentacles is all about seeing the fruits of your labor labor and this person here seems to be holding an apple really suggesting ch making better choices choosing perhaps fruits over 
desserts, for example, making small or big changes actually that will really make a huge effect for you. Because with the Eight of Wands here, you see that you will probably be reaching the certain your your weight goal or your health goal very soon crossing off a lot of things that you used to complain about watching it go one after the other so that's great news here all by doing two things being absolutely committed to this new health healthy lifestyle perhaps there is exercising involved and at the same time continuously educating yourself learning more about what to do what to eat what to avoid how to cook it and during the next three months you will notice huge and visible um, achievements with regards to these health goals that you have there pile number four i see you here enjoying your life a little bit more uh, perhaps wearing more things that you like a feeling like you've been fitting into clothes easily or wearing styles that you've been waiting to try over a long time I also see you enjoying your health by perhaps doing other different activities that you wanted to do for a long time but your, your health was keeping you back I see great improvements there for you where you start to enjoy your physical health again, enjoy doing outdoor activities perhaps or moving on with your job and taking on more tasks as opposed to things that you couldn't do in the future perhaps because of feeling a little bit lethargic, feeling tired, feeling like you have a headache, feeling some physical pains and it really kind of stopped you from doing a lot of things but the surprise is coming your way and it is a surprise for you pile number four because it seems like you will be getting new information on what to do right you will see yourself taking action towards it not only that but the most important thing is that you will be seeing results during this the next three months pile number four i'm so happy for you <laughs> pile number four it sounds like great news i love that you're taking care of yourself pile number four kudos to you i hope you always find the right information for you okay so now i think it's time for us to take your two other cards to take a deeper look at what kind of surprises are coming your way in the next three months Pile number four. Oh, you have the star reaching your goal, achieving your dream. Okay, this is really nice. Okay, this one's come out. Let's take it. You have the Empress. I mean, if you've watched pile number three, and then came to four i would not be surprised because the empress is landing here just in the same place as it did with pile number three or maybe it was here yes it was here or no okay i don't remember <laughs> let's get to your reading pile number four it's an amazing combination i can't lie to you you have the star um right above the empress here and it seems like you will be feeling yourself a lot in the next coming three months perhaps you'll feel more physically attractive perhaps you'll feel like you're capable of doing a lot of things you will be feeling yourself pile number four and it seems with your pile in specific your dream per pertains to you how you are going to improve it doesn't pertain to a lover specifically or a business or any of the different other materialistic things pile number four it seems like it's all about you and you're going to be working so hard on making your health issues or your body goals come true for you and it's going to come it's going to happen very quickly in fact you have three here and we're talking about the next three months seeing great improvements uh, i think I see you liking your hair, how you're dressing, how you're looking, feeling free and energetic. And 
enjoying your health much more feeling like you haven't felt this good for a very long time and i hear i hear you saying i'm never going to turn back i never want to turn back seeing all these positives and benefits that you're absolutely enjoying the next three months will make you think i will never ever go back this is my life and this is what i love and so it's really about changing a lifestyle and enjoying this lifestyle as you go along enjoying taking care of your of your skin of your hair of your nails of how you look how you dress how you eat personal care here is your pile pile number four and good good job there and this is probably why I heard the clicking and celebration because I see you celebrating yourself, uh, pile number four, very, very soon. Celebrating your achievements, celebrating your um, leaps in terms of your health because you'll be feeling the difference and feeling energized, pile number four. And most importantly, you'll be celebrating you're studying, you taking actions toward action, towards getting the right knowledge in order to make yourself healthier. Reblossom is the word. Um, feeding with proper nutrition because you see here this rose just needs a little bit of water. It feels like to me it's not about the amount or of food that you eat it's about the right of food that you eat in order to feel more energized and nutritious pile number four i see you are resorting here to non-conventional ways of healing perhaps using energy eft and of course first and foremost here with your actual nutrition pile number four perhaps essential oils I think you'll be educating yourself a lot in terms of what you need to do to heal certain things. You'll be following experts, taking their guidance, perhaps finding the right coach for you. Nutritional Nutritionist will really help you create a new world for yourself. It's almost like a new beginning, a, new, a rebirth of yourself, pile number four. Pile number four, I really feel like your pile is actually really divinely guided because we no longer need to have the piles cards piled up in this area. Now I feel invited to pull out two more two more cards for you. It seems like you, you need to know more here. So what does pile number four need to know, please? You have the three of wands, a lot of hair, a lot of great health. Okay, and you have the tower. Now, isn't that interesting? Okay, I see adv an advice for you here. That's why we needed to pull two cards. So pile number four, your advice here from your spirit guides is to be patient. Um, is to create a lifestyle that helps you prolong and be patient with this new lifestyle meaning you have to create something that you enjoy not something that you can do for a little while and then it blows up um, and doesn't work so it's about changing your lifestyle little by little towards something that you enjoy ask yourself what do i love what makes me um, move away from this healthy lifestyle in general is it because I love desserts should I replace them with healthier options uh, is it that I don't like exercising perhaps because I don't like going outdoors can I do it indoors where it's quicker ask yourself these questions pile number four with the three of wands here take the time to learn more about yourself what makes you um, relapse you don't want to relapse pile number four so build it slowly but surely uh, because you're going to get big results so take care of yourself in terms of no learning more about yourself 
What do I, pile number four, like? What do I, pile number four, don't like? And if you keep doing something that you just don't like, it's not going to work. And instead of throwing the whole idea uh, together, make sure you create something that works with you and brings you great results, pile number four. So all the best of luck with that. I'm so happy for you that you're taking great care of your health. Great job, pile number four. I'm sure you're going to reach something great very soon in terms of your health. And so pile number four, that was your reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.